Good morning, and welcome to Morning Prayer on this Monday, December 14th. Let us begin. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Make haste, O God, to deliver me. Make haste to help me, O Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. Our reading for today comes from the 29th chapter from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord God said, Since this people draws near with words only and honors me with their lips alone, though their hearts are far from me and their reverence for me has become routine observance of the precepts of men, Therefore, I will again deal with this people in surprising and wondrous fashion. The wisdom of its wise men shall perish, and the understanding of its prudent men be hid. Woe to those who would hide their plans too deep for the Lord, who work in the dark, saying, Who sees us or who knows us? Your perversity is as though the potter were taken to be the clay, as though what is made should say of its maker, he made me not. Or the vessel should say of the potter, He does not understand. But a very little while, and Lebanon shall be changed into an orchid, and the orchid be regarded as a forest. On that day, the deaf shall hear the words of a book, and out of gloom and darkness the eyes of the blind shall see. The lowly will ever find joy in the Lord, and the poor rejoice in the Holy One of Israel. For the tyrant will be no more, and the arrogant will have gone. All who are alert to do the devil will be cut off. Those whose mare word condemns a man, who ensnares his defender at his gate, and leave the just man with an empty claim. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of the house of Jacob, who redeemed Abraham, now Jacob shall have nothing to be ashamed of, nor shall his face grow pale. When his children see the work of my hands in his midst, they shall keep my name holy. They shall, rave, they shall reverence the Holy One of Jacob and be in awe of the God of Israel. Those who err in spirit shall acquire understanding, and those who find fault shall receive instruction. Many of the nations will come and say, Let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the home of the God of Jacob. He will teach us his ways, and we will walk in his paths. And a reading from a sermon by St. Augustine. John is a voice, but the Lord is a word who is in the beginning. John is the voice that lasts for a time. In the beginning, Christ is a word who lives forever. Take away the word, the meaning, and what is a voice? Where there is no understanding, there is only a meaningless sound. The voice without the word strikes the ear, but does not build up the heart. However, let us observe what happens when the first seek to build up our hearts. When I think about what I am going to say, the word or message is already in my heart. What I want to speak to you. I look for a way to share with your heart what is already in mine. In my search for a way to let this message reach you, so that the word already in my heart may find place also in yours. I use my voice to speak to you. The sound of my voice brings the meaning of the word to you and then passes away. The word which the sound has brought to you is now in your heart, and yet it is still also in mine. When the word has been conveyed to you, does not the sound seem to say, the word ought to grow and I should diminish? The sound of the voice 
has made itself heard in the service of the word, and has gone away, as though it were saying, My joy is complete. Let us hold on to the word. We must not lose away the word conceived inwardly in our hearts. Do you need proof what that the voice passes away, but the divine word remains? Where is John's baptism today? It served its purpose, and it went away. Now it is Christ's baptism that we celebrate. It is in Christ that we all believe. We hope for salvation in him. This is the message the voice cried out. Because it is hard to distinguish word from voice, even John himself was thought to be the Christ. The word, the voice, was thought to be the word. But the voice acknowledged what it was, anxious not to give offense to the word. I am not the Christ, he said, nor Elijah, nor the prophet. And the question came, who are you then? He replied, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. Prepare the way for the Lord. The voice of one crying in the wilderness is the voice of one breaking the silence. Prepare the way for the Lord. He says, as though he were saying, I speak out in order to lead him into your hearts. But he does not choose to come where I lead him unless you prepare the way for him. To prepare the way means to pray well. It means thinking humbly of oneself. We should take our lesson from John the Baptist. He is sought to be the Christ. He declares he is not what they think. He does not take advantage of their mistake to further his own glory. If he had said, I am the Christ, you can imagine how readily he would have been believed, since they believed he was a Christ even before he spoke. But he did not say it. He acknowledged what he was. He pointed out clearly who he was. He humbled himself. He saw where his salvation lay. He understood that he was a lamp, and his fear was that it might be blown out by the wind of pride. Long ago, God spoke to our ancestors in many and various ways by the prophets. But in these last days, God has spoken to us by the Son. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. We give thanks to you, Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have protected us through the night from all harm and danger. We ask that you would also protect us today from sin and all evil, so that our life and actions may be pleasing to you. Into your hands we commend ourselves, our bodies, our souls, and all that is ours. Let your holy angels be with us, so that the wicked foe may have no power over us. Amen. Stir up our hearts, O Lord, to prepare the way of your only begotten Son, so that by his coming we may be enabled to serve you with pure minds. He who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Let us pray as our Lord Jesus Christ taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power and glory, forever and ever. Amen. Bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, bless and preserve us. Amen. The peace of Christ be with you always. And also with you. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.
We wish you all a blessed day and look forward to seeing you in the evening for evening prayer.